I'd like to dedicate this to all of the Creator's righteous children. I have some food in my bag for you. Not that edible food, the food you eat? No. I have some food for thought. Since knowledge is infinite, it has infinitely fell on me. So, um... Peace. So, today I wanted to talk about a few things that are in the media going around uh, right now that I feel like I have a good opinion on. Um, one of them being Jeffrey Owens. So, Jeffrey Owens... We all know him as Alvin from the Cosby Show, and husband to Sandra, father to Winnie and Nelson, son-in-law to Heathcliff Huxtable and Claire Huxtable, and brother-in-law to Vanessa, Rudy, Denise, Theo. So we all know he's been in the news lately because two. And I'm going to say this. Two black women were in a Trader Joe's in New Jersey. They saw him ringing up some people's groceries. They took it upon themselves to take a picture. And they took the picture, sold it online to like Raider Online, the Daily Mail UK, and Fox News. Fox News decides to publicly humiliate, humiliate and publicly job shame Jeffrey Owens because he works at Trader Joe's and because he was once on the Cosby show, he shouldn't be working at Trader Joe's. I have a lot of feelings about this. Um, I'm going to actually uh, put down below, if I can, um, a podcast that i actually listened to called the werewolves podcast it's by cleo thomas who played uh zero and holes um he has a podcast now which you can go subscribe to on patreon um but he has a podcast and he talks about jeffrey owens and he talks about uh working working actors which is something that has become a new topic in the mainstream light of twitter recently that a lot of artists who are either making music, playing football, um, who else, uh, being actors and actresses, you name it, TV stars, they are coming to his defense because Fox tried to publicly shame him. And it's really, really crazy to me. First of all, that two black women tried to shame this black man who is out here giving all types of inspiration by having a honest job when he needs one jeffrey owens has said that the reason he was even working at trader joe's in the first place and he'd only been working there for 15 months and that many many different people had actually seen him in there noticed him recognized him but were cool about him we're just like oh hey you know god show whatever but like went on their merry way oh that's cool i just saw jeffrey owens great but these two women took it upon themselves to publicly shame this brother. Now, I don't know what these two black women thought they were going to gain from doing this, but it's low down, dirty, and a shame. As black people in this country, they should know that we are already shamed for many, 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 many different things. Whether they are in real life or they are stereotypes. People already think that all we are out here doing is taking advantage of welfare. Even though we are not actually the ones. But anyways. Um, we're taking advantage of welfare. All we do is get pregnant, have babies, and then take, take advantage of welfare. Or that we're on drugs. And we're just lazy and we don't want to go out and we don't want to get an honest job. And all we want to do is sell dope and we all we want to do is sling, sling dope and do all of these horrible things, right? So, when a person like Jeffrey Owens, who, you know, he has been in some guest starring roles recently and he has, you know, done th things here and there. Yes, he has not had, like, the spotlight on him like he did back in the Cosby show. But so what? Doesn't mean he's not been working. Does not mean he hasn't been out here in these streets still getting auditions and doing his thing. 
And yeah, so what? Maybe he needed to make a few extra dollars for his family. So he decided he was going to work at Trader Joe's. Big deal. For your information, Trader Joe's is actually a legit-ass place with legit-ass food. And their snacks are bomb. So come for Trader Joe's one more time. But I just don't think it's right when your own kind, your own people go against you. Because that's just sad. That's just sad. We know that those two women were out for a payday. They were out for a payday 100%. And they thought that by doing this, they were going to get so much praise and admiration. When in reality, these two women are actually just getting shamed for their own shameful representation of a hardworking man. Okay? And they knew what they were doing by selling it to Fox News. They knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. It was, it's, it's sick. It's so sick. And it irritates me because if he would, had been out here on crack, on dope, selling it, slinging it, trying to do this stuff for his family, yeah, we would have looked at him kind of side eye because he comes from the Cosby show and we would have been like, oh, here goes another one. But he's out here working at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. I work at a freaking grocery store that's very similar to Trader Joe's called Earth Fair. And I work part time. I don't get good hours, but I work part time. And I get paid eleven dollars an hour. I don't get paid diddly squat, but it's a job right now. While I kind of am in the process of working on something else to get my name out there, I am working at this job and I have to because I have to start making money so that I can leave living with my parents. And that's no shame in what I'm doing. And there's no shame in what Jeffrey Owens was doing. Absolutely none. Absolutely none. Okay? A job is better than no job. Because a homeless man on the street would say, I would rather be working at Trader Joe's than living on the street right now. And that's just facts. And that's just hardcore facts. Hardcore facts facts okay so i just think it was so shameful because we're already in the media looked at as lazy crack fiends who have a bunch of babies and basically uh just take all the welfare money and are just lazy people we're already looked at like that so for you two black women to come after jeffrey owens was just wrong on so many levels and irritating and just heartbreaking because it's just hard enough to be black in this country but for your own kind to come against you is just wrong it's just wrong shout out to all the artists shout out to all the movie stars shout out to all the hollywood who have been rallying against rallying for him behind him it's been great shout out to all the regular schmegler people out there who have been rallying for him because we know how it is we know how it is so that's great and shout out to Tyler Perry, who movies and TV shows I'm not really that big of a fan of. I watch them time to time, but they're not really my favorite. But shout out to him for giving Jeffrey Owens a chance. You know, shout out to him. And Jeffrey Owens, of course, said in the interview that he did with Good Morning America that he would want to get auditions for roles, but he would want to get these roles fair and square. So I think that's really honorable and very humble. And I liked how he wore his um, his Trader Joe's pin on Good Morning America to basically start the conversation about working class people in this country. So I think that's a conversation that needs to be had. You know, the statistics of not working people are so high. And the way that capitalism and white supremacy work in this country, we are just, we, 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 we strive and we work so hard every single day just to make ends, ends meet for a bullshit system that doesn't care two iotas about us and keeps rising the bar higher and higher so that we cannot get to that level. You know what I mean? There are more people on food stamps this decade than there has been in life. And it's crazy because as much as people are on food stamps every day, the government tries to cut them and it's just crazy you know the snap program gets put on the chopping block every year almost and it's just really ridiculous and you know the way that we just consider money to be the be all end all of life is just sad to me it's just sad to me 
and so if all i can afford to do is work at a trader joe's work at an earth fair work at a whole foods work at a walmart work at a, at a home depot this is all i can afford because i'm already poor and i can't afford to you know work at any other places i don't have the qualifications because i don't have the money to go to school i don't have the qualification because i don't have the money to do this or that and the third i don't have the money for a car i don't have the money for this it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because you're still being an honorable person by even having a job at all because you could just be sitting on your ass not having a job and become homeless and I'm not knocking homeless people because I don't know how you guys got into those situations. But I'm just saying, any job is better than no job. And I just think that this shaming of what's an acceptable job for who is ridiculous. Okay? Working is working. And Hollywood is Hollywood. You know? That people in Hollywood are just regular people just like us. They might have a little bit of talent. And that's cool. But seriously, on a real tip, they are just other people. And they need to make money too. It doesn't matter. They're not above capitalism. No one is above capitalism. And so sadly, we must make ends meet. We can say that we're anti-capitalist. We can try to, you know, do all these other things to not be a part of this system. But at the end of the day, we have to make money. Because money rules the world, unfortunately. If we could go back to the barter system like our ancestors, I would be highly happy because then we could all, all we would have to do is learn a, learn a skill and we could just barter for those and that would be dope. But we can't because capitalism sucks. So we have to live in this world where money is the be all and all of life. So unfortunately, this is what it is. But I commend Jeffrey Owens 100%. And I'm super glad that this is becoming a conversation because it needs to be. It needs to be a conversation on everybody's tongue because I just, it's, it's ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. You know, one time when I was at work, I was working and there was a girl behind the uh, bakery who worked there. And one day she was working, working, working really hard and she actually ended up collapsing. And later on, we learned that she hadn't really been eating, eating that day because life is expensive. She had been working really long hours and she had been um, going to school at the same time. So she just got, it got to her, you know what I mean? And the job that we work at only pays $11 an hour. And that's, and it's part-time, so we can't get full-time benefits. And unfortunately, that's the reality of a lot of people out here in this world. You know, um, the other day was Labor Day. So that's why a lot of this is coming out. But also, um, you know, there are people out there like the farm workers who are out here in these fields working unsafe conditions and being harassed and sexually assaulted uh, just to pick the vegetables that we have every day that we can buy from the, these grocery stores. And it's just, there's a whole picture about work and work ethic in this country and how we as the United States of America, Americans, how we perceive all of this work and all of these types of things. And it's just crazy. It's just crazy how these two people, these two black women could just shame somebody who is out here making an honest living, honestly. And at least he's working somewhere where the, he got benefits and he had a really good salary like at least he's working somewhere that's nice you know what i mean but not everybody gets that opportunity and so it's just a conversation that we need to start having more with it when it comes to work and what we are willing to put out there in our work and how we see work you know i love what jeffrey owens said on a on good morning america he said that you know all work is work you know, some work might look better on a resume, but work is work at the end of the day. If you have a paycheck, if you're able to pay your bills, if you're able to eat, if you're able to do what you need to do for your family, then it's work. Okay? It's work. No work is better than any other work. And I respect that. And so I just wanted to give mad props to Jeffrey Owens and mad props to all workers, you know? all workers you know i never look down on somebody who is working a 
what they say lesser job which i don't believe in i don't believe in that so i send so many props to you jeffrey owens so many props um the next thing i want to talk about is this whole colin kaepernick nike ad so as we all know nike decided to make an ad with colin kaepernick i love it i love what it says on the poster i love the whole thing they're going to be doing one with serena as well and all these other are uh athletes and i'm loving it this whole black power thing like 2018 has been the year of blackness and i'm here for it it's also been the year of women and i'm here for it i'm just here for it right but you know that these racists out here can't handle the fact that people are out here making progress and making change and stirring things up colin kaepernick two years ago and i have many countless blog posts about these very things so if you ever want to check out my full opinions on colin kaepernick and the whole not standing for the pledge of allegiance not standing for the national anthem thing then you can check out my blog ice turtle girl dot blog but basically two years ago he didn't stand up he sat his butt down and he was like the national anthem is racist first of all and i have talked about that in my blog where i talk about how in part of the stanza of the national anthem it talks about slaves and us basically not being human and basically how they don't care if we die um and other racial things in that and also that the united states is not holding up its end of the bargain when it comes to freedom and all this bs that they try to act like oh this that and the third and you know most people agree with him 100 percent because they see the realities of this country but no these racists out here they have to be on their bs mode so they have to be stupid and they keep thinking that this whole protest is about the troops and has absolutely nothing to do with the troops when we get that through your head absolutely nothing to do with the troops but y'all are too naive and too stupid to see that in your own dumb brains so you decided that the best thing to do to protest nike and boycott nike is to just burn your nike stuff and cut your nike symbols off your clothes because that makes sense oh but wait there are homeless veterans out there wait should we go support them wait should we go give our nike gear to these homeless veterans no we're gonna boycott we're gonna protest we're gonna burn our stuff protest nike down with kaepernick oh shut up shut up y'all look so foolish like i just don't understand racist i don't understand they make no sense they're such a contradictory contradictory to each other and to themselves that's just so funny it's so funny it's just like are you serious are you really serious out here burning your nike stuff when you could give it to homeless veterans because that's apparently what you care about the troops you care about war you care about the american flag and this american dream and all this american patriarchy bullshit but you don't care about these veterans because you'd rather just burn your shit up makes no sense makes no sense i have always stood with colin kaepernick i will continue to stand with colin kaepernick i hate the national anthem i hate the pledge of allegiance i do not believe in the american flag and i've hated it since i was a kid and it is what it is you know what i mean when you're a black female indigenous woman i mean i mean when you're black and you're indigenous i mean hey if i don't want to stand up for the national anthem i have every right between genocide and slavery 500 years 500 years and we're still going through it we're still going through it so don't come to me talking about troops this and troops that yes i support the troops 100 percent my grandfather was a tuskegee airman my brother-in-law he was in desert storm that does not mean in any way shape or form that i don't support the troops but that does not mean in any way shape or form (laughs) that i have to support this stupid patriarch and the stupid american flag it represents nothing to nobody except for you white racists 
who think that you're out here doing anything that's going to solve any of these problems out here in these streets. Okay? You and your stupid Cheeto president who think that you're so clever and so smart and all of these things, you're just, you just time and time again, prove us right that you guys are idiots and that you don't understand what's going on in this world and that you are just not hip to the game. All Colin Kaepernick was saying is that if y'all don't stop killing us in the streets, the police brutality, killing us in the streets, or you white racists who want to go and slash people's throats, or you governmental people who want to take away water rights from people, if y'all don't want to cut it out, I ain't standing. But that's just a horrible thing. Oh my God, he didn't stand. He's so anti-patriot. Oh my God. No, actually, it all sent to the word because he's a black american he actually cares more about this country than you do and will ever because he has more claim to claim and stake in this country than you ever will and he has every right to get mad at this country because of the way that he cares about this country so y'all can just shut up just shut up it makes me so irritated when i have to watch you guys be so stupid you guys are the stupidest people on planet earth and i just don't understand why you exist and why you think that it's appropriate to just be idiots. You guys are idiots. I'm sorry to say it. But you guys are white, racist, idiots. And that's the end of story. I'm sorry. I had to go off. But I'm just like, they annoy me so much. They just make no sense. They make absolutely no sense. Like, no sense. Like, no sense. Like, literally no sense. Like, they have no IQ points. It's so dumb. Like, it's so dumb. Oh my god, they're so dumb. But I don't care because I'm still going to be celebrating the fact that I am a black indigenous woman and I'm still out here in these streets. Hey, racist. You don't like that? Too bad. Too, too bad. I still living out here in these streets being fabulous and I don't care. So I support Colin Kaepernick to the day I die because he's a honorable man doing honorable things, trying to make a change in this world. And that is all we ever asked for. Okay. We are not going to take it lying down. Don't make me come for you. Because I will. Alright. That's the end of my rant. I had to get a little bit heated. I'm sorry. But you know I only do it out of love. Peace and love. That's my motto. So. Until the next time. Peace and blessings. <laughs>